Thank you. Well, thank you so much, Anne. I have a few things I want to show you. I'll talk very briefly, but I'd like to continue Anne's theme about power in the palm of your hand. And you mentioned in particular these devices used around the world, 280 million of them in Africa, not only for the normal things of humans talking to humans, but for this deeper issue of making sense of the world, because these allow you to send data. So why are you all here? It's because you know something many other people don't know. You know this event is happening here. You found out about it by email or a website. Someone might have texted you a message. Hundreds of millions of other people don't know what you know. They're not here. Your job is to take what you learn here to them. And the tools you'll use aren't the tools of 50 years ago. They're these tools. They're the tools of communicating with 280 million people, any one of whom in Africa I could call at this moment with this device. Those words could not have been said five years ago. 500 million people in China I could call at this moment from here. And since I'm on the net, I could use Skype and talk to them for free and not pay the phone company. So something's changed big time. And part of it's just the things we computer people did. We took chips, made them small, made devices to store energy, made them smaller and smaller. And suddenly we have billions and billions of devices. So let me show you. It's not a cell phone. This is a book. Here's the book. This little thing is made by Amazon doesn't use much energy because when the image arrives on the screen, it just flips little black and white ping pong balls so the image stays with no energy being used to keep it there. This thing's on the net. Actually, I have about 500 books on this. I have the basic manuals of chemical engineering. I have a lot of African agricultural documents. I have physics texts, I have chemistry texts. There are, oh, I'll say a million free books ready to go here. So this device, well, maybe it's the same as this, keyboard, screen, display. We're gonna see an explosion of these things. Let me show you something that was yesterday. Now, if you can see the screen, this is the New York Times. And there's Jeff Bezos, he's the person that started Amazon. And yesterday, he stood up and announced the new one. Better than this. Hold a thousand books, no problem. So the headline you see there, Amazon gives Web for Dev 100,000 new Kindle models at $10 each. Now that's a lie. The trick to this is you take a web browser that can edit anything you look at, you change it so the headline's the way you would like the headline to read, and suddenly, whoa, we lost, how did we lose our signal? We just lost Jeff. So suddenly, uh, you're able to alter the news. Let's see, on the technical front, the computer's okay, the Plug-in is okay, somebody kicked the cable out back there somewhere. Are we back? <laughs> nope, okay, well. Well, all right, then I, I'm not gonna be able to show you anything else unless the screen comes back. So my point about this is that in the next few years, these devices are going to be dropping in cost. Will they be $10 each? Well, I predict that in about let's say three years, not 10, they will be at that price point. Why? In the world of technology, some brand new things have happened. One's quite technical, but the import of it, I still am puzzled. Why are we not on the screen? So if somebody could work on that, that would be good. Uh, there we are, great. 
So the major change in the computer front is making each of the, oh, let's say, five or 10 million transistors in this thing use about one hundredth the power they do today. This is physics. This is done. It's not yet in these devices. It takes two or three years to make a change like this ripple through. But that suddenly means we don't have to worry about power. As Ann talked about, the impact of information technology, that's knowledge, knowledge per person, spreading knowledge. Economic development is based on energy per person. If I'm alone, I'm a one human power person. I'm not even a horsepower. Every person here has thousands of horsepower, tens of thousands of people power at your fingertips. That's what's making these lights go on. That's what makes the escalator work. That's what makes all of New York function. Enormous amounts of power per person. How much power is there per person in Africa? Not so much. So the big changes will come about when we're able to alter how much power there is per person. How do we do that? Here's a little article, a couple of month, a month ago or so, from Tech, MIT Technology Review, and I'll read it because it's a little small. Maybe I'll make it bigger. It says, microbes for off-the-grid electricity. What's that mean? It means microbial fuel cells. Fuel cell just takes some takes methane, takes hydrogen, turns it into electrons and water. Bugs can create the fuel. Bugs. That's why methane goes into the atmosphere. So if you can generate one watt per square meter, and you can make the power demand of something like this go to a tenth of a watt, we have a marriage of electrons and knowledge. That's what's coming. And there are some very interesting changes. Right now, at this moment in the United States, fight is going on in the Senate about $800 billion of stimulus. In that is about $8 billion to fix the electrical grid. It's, how would we say it, primitive, awful, junky, bad. The American power grid contrasted with the new grid in China, the new grid, there's one in Indonesia that's going in, the grids in Sweden, the grids in Denmark, where they actually hit 40% of power for Denmark coming from wind, because they have a nice electrical grid that can feed from the propellers to the people. These ways of jump-starting the electrical power per person numbers are just taking a hold, and in the United States, tied down with terrible old coal plants, in China, terrible old coal plants, last year more new energy generation came from wind than from anything else. So there's a change going on. How do we bring that directly to the places where at the moment there aren't any electrons? Let me show you something. <clears throat> 